Over the next five, 10, and 20 years, there are going to be developments at the intersection of biology and technology that will present us with some of the most profound and vexing choices our species has ever faced. The tools of genetic engineering and synthetic biology are giving us unimaginable powers, and we have even more capabilities coming down the pike that are gonna completely transform our species. So what I really wanna talk about is design. And what we are moving into is a phase of biological design that we've only imagined in science fiction. I'm gonna start with Bowen Zhao. He wants to design custom microbiomes because he understands that the microbiome is the source of disease. And so if we can understand that, we can diagnose and predict many uh, chronic metabolic diseases. He's also, excuse me, interested in creating a whole new class of pharmaceuticals that would be based on the chemicals produced by microbes' metabolic processes. This is Steve Ramirez. His technology is based on infusing the brain's neurons with a particular light-sensitive protein that makes it possible to either activate or deactivate certain cells with pulses of light. So he basically uses optogenetics to erase specific memories in mouse brains. He can erase those memories. He can enhance the memories or diminish the memories. He can even install new memories that the mouse never had before. His work has profound implications for humans of the future. Then there's George Church, also featured in our book. George is probably the most inventive bioengineer of our times. He's maintaining this list. I think there's about 50 alleles and genes on here to enhance humans. CCR5 for HIV protection has also been shown to have cognitive benefits. There's a GRIN2B gene, which is uh, associated with learning and memory. But there's a whole other list of edits that we could make to prepare humans for space travel. So that might include LRP5, uh, which gives you extra strong bones. Or there's four different mutations combined that can increase your resistance to radiation. Or you might simply use pre-implantation uh, genetic screening to find the embryos that are um, going to be selected for small stature, which would be helpful if you're crammed inside a tiny little space capsule. Danny Hillis wrote a fiction piece based on the actual science where the couple walk in and have a consultation with a genetic counselor in the future. He talks about the fact that, uh, you know, your children may find extra appendages very useful. People get excited about tails. They have their pluses and minuses, but you know, additional appendages could be quite handy. And then he goes through a series of accessories and add-ons and basically upsells the genetic counselor might try and uh, convince you to go for. He talks about aesthetics and how parents could get uh, uh, suckered into or trapped into something that's a little too trendy that just feels outmoded 10 or 15 years later. But, oh, bummer, you've been genetically uh, designed to express that feature. David Eagleman has a piece in our book about uh, the possible remorse we may have as parents for some of these choices. Mm -hmm.